One of the great off-season pickups for the Colts, Kendall Langford joins us here on the IndyChannel.com after the win this afternoon. Uh, by the way, another sack today. Mm -hmm. So I did the math. It's a career-high six sacks. Seven. Seven now. Yeah, last night, seven. Seven. <laughs> today was seven, seven sacks all told. Uh, <laughs> we'll get to your year here in just a bit, which I think has really been phenomenal. Thank you. Kind of a weird scenario, though, today, just the win. How did that go over amongst the guys? I mean, anytime you win is a great feeling, but to win home our last game here of the year, you know, it, it was great. Unfortunately, things didn't go the way as planned um, that we needed to help from other teams today. But, you know, um, I, I, I credit the guys in that locker room. We did a great job of finishing strong, and that's one thing that we preached, that, you know, finish strong, finish strong, no matter what the situation is. Right. And I think guys did a great job of doing that. Uh, the Titans, I mean, they're banged up as well. You guys put a lot of pressure on that offensive line, and mm -hmm. that's just got to be fun, especially, I mean, they dialed up the blitz a couple I times, mean, you know. They, we, a, a lot, you're talking offensively on yeah. our behalf or their behalf? On their behalf, yeah. Oh, yeah defensively yeah. for you guys, yeah, we a lot um, of pressure on the Titans, <laughs> you know. Yeah, um, our de defensive coordinator, Greg Mineski, he, um, he was a little aggressive in the play calling, and, you know, we decided to get out them early on in the game and, you know, not let the quarterback get comfortable and sit back there and feel like he has, you know, time and he can, you know, dictate where he wants the ball go, yeah. to go. So we did a great job of getting after him, and we kind of dictated to where he can throw the ball. Like, we're going to take this away. We're going to bring pressure. you got to let it go right now. Right. And, um, you know, guys did a great job on the back end of covering the guys, and, we did a good job up front and on the secondary level as far as the linebackers, you know, adding on and their coverage, things like that. It was a great defensive uh, scheme that we put together and we came out of W. Uh, so many times you get pressure up the middle, mm -hmm. you, you're going to win that bad. You, the, the, over, I mean, the sack that you had, pressure mm -hmm. up the middle, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Big. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it came later in the game. Um, it, was, it, was a, it was a big sack for me and, um, you know, it helped us get off the field. And, you know, yeah. we can definitely appreciate that. Not lost on anyone, obviously, is this overriding fact. This may have been Chuck Pagano's last season as the head coach in Indy. Was that talked amongst you guys at all? We did a great job of um, Coach Pagano always mentioned keeping the blinders on. You know, yeah. we, we, we don't see, we don't hear any of the outside noise. Um, you know, and just stay focused at the task at, at the task at hand. Um, mm -hmm. Right now, Coach Pagano is still our coach, and until somebody tell us different, he's still our coach. So we're going in tomorrow, anticipating that he's our coach, he's our guy. Um, you know, great guy, great coach. Uh, we love him dearly, and you know, um, like I said, we're going to approach it as such. He's he's our guy. You've had an opportunity to play for a couple different head coaches. What's special about Chuck? I mean, he's 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 special in his own way. I mean, he's he's the guy that you can go and talk to about anything. Um, he chimes in. He he sits in the meeting room. He understands it. He's just not in this office and like I'm gonna let my assistants do their. No, he's he's in there. He's giving his input. He's showing us things. Um, you know, he jokes around with us. He, it's it's just the relationship we have with him is you know is is a really really good relationship. Is it different? This team versus the other teams you've been on, the head coach. I mean, it's all different in some form or fashion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They all different. But I mean, yeah, but yeah. But you, I mean, it's more like it's, he is. It seems like it's special for you guys. Mm -hmm. Is that accurate? Yeah, very, very accurate, very accurate. I would say that's very accurate. Uh, weird to see Alex Tanny on the other side of the ball. Oh uh, yeah, it was. <laughs> I mean, a guy's been on the practice squad for the Colts and he several know, times. And know us, you know, inside and out, you know, because he was practicing against us all week. So when he got into the game, you know, it was a little challenge because he knowed all our language and, you know, he seen the blitzes and, you know, things like so you that. You could tell. Wait a minute. If you yeah, I mean, he, he, he actually, you know, like, they might idea a mic, you know, offensive line, and he'll come Audible up and he'll change it. Like, no, 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 he's the mic. So, <laughs> you know, we kind of um, we kind of showed our hand a little bit, but um, you know, we still had to. They still had to block us, so we, you uh -huh. know, we had to That's go through and do what we had to do, and they had to cover <laughs> on the back end, and it worked out in our favor. We sent some things at him he hadn't seen before, so right. that was cool. That's the hard part. You still got to block him. <laughs> yeah, you, you know it's coming. Know, yeah, but you don't know until yeah. you block him. Yeah. Uh, what's it like to play with Robert Mathis? Oh man, it's 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 um, it's definitely a blessing. Um, Rob, he's a guy who I'm sure is going to be a Hall of Famer. Um, great leader, great man, yeah. great football player. Um, I mean, he's just he's one of those guys that you just sit back if you're a rookie in this league or a young guy. E even myself, yeah. like this is a guy that you want to model your career behind. He, you know, he does everything right on the field, off the field. 
um, puts in the extra time. You know, everything that it takes to be a professional, he's the ultimate pro. Is it one of those deals where when he speaks, everyone listens? Absolutely. A guy like that, 120-plus yeah. sacks, 13 years in this league, um, with the one team, you know, I can go on and on. I mean, it's just very impressive the type of present he brings to our locker room, to our classroom, um, on the field. You know, he's getting guys pumped up. We feed off of him. You know, he's he's the ultimate pro, the ultimate veteran, and, you know, um, I'm blessed enough to be able to play, play with him. So. Well, it's funny. I mean, we saw the video, and it's online, Colts.com, uh, when Mathis stopped the speech after the games and presented right. Chuck with typical the Typical Rob. Ball. Typ typical yeah. Rob. I mean, things like that. I mean, like, I, I can't stress enough um, the growth the, the, the knowledge that he passes down to the guys, you know, in the linebackers room, in the defensive line room. When we meet on Thursdays after practice, players only meeting, you know, we're in there, we're doing, you know, um, going over things, different calls, situations, things like that, and he chimes in or he, he notices this. I mean, it's just, I can't stress him. Like I said, he's the ultimate pro, yeah. man. I'm, I'm glad he's on our side. How much did you learn from him this season, do you think? I've learned a ton. I've learned a ton from Rob. I mean, like I say, um, he dropped little tidbits, little nuggets here and there. Um, just, I'm, I'm already a professional, and I feel like I carry myself as one. But Rob, like I said, 13 right. years doing it right is just, you know, something that I, sh I want to strive to do. Well, there's a carryover. I mean, Rob is obviously of this ilk, this team as well, but he mm -hmm. was also with Peyton, Tony Dungy, mm -hmm. and that, that was a carryover from the attitude those guys had. Right. And, uh, what better guy to learn from absolutely than a guy like robert mathis right. uh so as mentioned we update the stats now seven sacks this season yeah. uh you feel like you found a home here in indianapolis absolutely not? absolutely um I've, what's what's the future hope for you i'm you're back next year yeah <laughs> well i signed a four-year deal so um <laughs> oh definitely you, like, never know <laughs> NFL, man. Yeah, you, you never know you never know i mean you know like the way it's a revolving door in this league. Um, it's hard to get here, but it's even harder to stay here right. once you're here um, with the good talent that's coming out of college every year and players developing, things like that. So I'm looking forward to being here for a long time. Um, I would love to end my career here in Indianapolis. Um, I mean, just to be able to go out and play with 12, tw Andrew Luck, you know, and the rest of the guys in, in that locker room is – we have, we're going to give ourselves a chance. When you got so. a franchise quarterback like mm -hmm. Andrew Luck, yeah. you want to hang. <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> so hang with you want to ride that right? coattail, and you know, <laughs> you know, because the ultimate goal for everyone is to win the Super Bowl. Yeah. So you know, every year, 32 teams start off with the goal to win the Super Bowl, and you 0 and 0, and then through the season you face, you know, all different type of adversity and things of that nature. But um, you know, the last two teams standing, you know, they're going to be. You know, yeah. fortunate to play in Santa Clara, but um, well, know. in the end of the day, there's only one team that's really happy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, because you, so, you, you know, you, that's, it's that's good to get there, thing. but it's right. only one team that can host that win. trophy. Yeah, absolutely. You, you so. want to win? You brought your family here. Mm -hmm. Caden, your son, is also. Caden, come on over here. Yeah. I, I told My you we'll put Kate, you on TV. Who's come half asleep right now over He's there? Half asleep. <laughs> Hopefully that's not a sign of the interview at all. <laughs> but come on over, Caden. What would you think of your dad today? Have a seat right here, bud. So yes. He's speechless. How do you think I played today? Dad play okay? <laughs> <laughs> you like Indianapolis? <laughs> yeah? You uh, heading back to Florida, though? Talk. A little bit? Where it's a little warmer? Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Outstanding jersey, Mom, by the way. I love the jersey. Uh, <laughs> hey, Kendall. Thanks for coming in. Hey, thanks for having enjoy me. Enjoy the off season. It came way too quickly for a lot of folks here as well. Uh, but enjoy the off season, and uh, we'll see you back here when the camp starts once again. All right. All right. All right. Thank you. Take care of Dad, will you? <laughs> so thank you. <laughs> and wake up! <laughs> wake up! Boy, this interview has put me to sleep. Now. <laughs> Kendall Langford here on the RTV6 app. All right. Uh, do not. You're all good. Yeah, you know what? Let's do a sat tease. Let's just record one just to have it. I don't know if we're going to use it, but we'll have it anyway. All right, here we go. Sit up straight. Sit up, sit up, sit up straight. We're going to put you on TV again. All right, ready? Here we go. Three, two, and one. Guys, thanks. Coming up.
Sports Extra, Kendall Lankford, a Colts defensive lineman, a career high seven sacks this season. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about Chuck Pagano as well. Caden is here, his son, ready to go. I love the jersey. Look, how did Dad do? Thumbs up or thumbs down today? Thumbs up. <laughs> Big sack today. A lot to talk about. We'll do so next here on Sunday Sports Extra.